Welcome back, YouTube. Jason here from Jam Chicago Lands Fish Room Showroom located here in Morris, Illinois. Uh, flying solo today. Um, beautiful wife, the other half of uh, J&M is not here today. Uh, we want to go over sponge filters. Why we use them, why we like them, pretty much why they're, they're the most uh, inexpensive to buy. Inexpensive to run and probably the easiest to maintain. Uh, what I have right here is a number five ATI sponge filter. I will be pulling this apart or one of these other ones and showing you uh, how they're made. Number five. This guy here is, uh, they claim it's good up to 125 gallons. Uh, it'd be hard to say if, uh, depends on what kind of fish you have. I suppose you can use this for African cichlids. Uh, you know, you double everything. So we're gonna have two of these in this tank right here, which uh, we're looking to get an up running sometime this week. I had to order some of the substrate and it won't be coming in until Wednesday. So later this week, we'll get that up and running and get some fish in there. A little bit better background uh, for the videos. Number four, ATI sponge filter. I guess I can put them side by side here. A little bit smaller in circumference. I say these guys are good for 80 gallons. We got these in every one of our tanks in here except for some of the small tens. Uh, grow off tanks up top, we got some number threes. Next, I wish we had more number threes because they're just a little bit smaller diameter. Um, they have a little bit less room in a 10 gallon tank, but they all work the same. So what does the sponge filter do and how does it work? Uh, sponge filter is both mechanical and biological fil filtration. Probably one of your best uh, biological filtrations. Uh, you, you put air, air line at the top, it blows bubbles, the bubbles bring up the water, it creates a flow, creates a suction, and you're pulling water through the sponge and through the middle, and the water's coming out up top along with the bubbles. So it, it scrubs your water, cleans it, mechanical filtration via the sponge, and then all your good bacteria that you need to kill all those uh, the ammonia, ammonia, nitrates, and stuff like that, get embedded in the sponge, and that's what keeps your uh, ammonia levels at, at bay. Uh, we do do a thing called seeding a sponge. Uh, we've got three in three separate tanks right now that we put new filters in, uh, we let them go for two to three weeks, maybe a month, and we start a new tank and pull that seeded sponge out, put it in a new tank, and it's uh, instantly cycled. So these are great. Uh, you got to have a air system, which we do in the fish room. I think our little uh, air pumps only like 13 watts per hour. Uh, very economical. We're running. Uh, let's see, we got 43 tanks in here. We got one in every tank. A couple of that two, oh, we don't have some of these tanks going behind us, but we got 30 plus running off our pump right now and the, the pumps that will hold up to 80 plus uh, filters. So right now we got plenty of air. So I'm gonna show you what I do to this filter. You don't have to do this. This little piece right here is double. It's got two ends, you can put a Airline on the top or the bottom. We like to use these little air stones here. There's a packet of them. Get it at uh, Walmart. Two of these guys are like a buck fifty. They're cheap. And what they do is make for a lot smaller bubbles instead of the big bubbles. Uh, I, it quiets it down, and I think I believe it gives a better flow of water. So what I do here. Get this like this. I let it go all the way to the bottom, pull it up a little bit, put my finger there, and that's where I'm going to cut it. Pair of scissors, cut that off. 
attached to the top. Just like that. And what this does, now it's going to come out of the air stone, a lot smaller bubbles. But I'm going to get the air coming all the way from the bottom. So you get air coming in here, you're going to be drawing water all the way at the very bottom of the sponge. Instead of the air coming out there, I believe it pulls a better suction through the whole sponge as the bubbles come all the way up from the bottom. So that's it. And then the air line from your air system will let's go and attach right to the top. Very simple. The pieces for this are all made out of plastic except for the sponge. These things will last, uh, should last forever. And then you can buy replacement parts for them, each part individually if you wanted to. So that's your sponge filter, hook it up to your airline. I'll show you one running here uh, in a little bit. So let's pull this thing apart and see what's inside of it. It's your lifter tube uh, for 10 gallon tanks. I cut these down pretty much in half because of how tall the tank is. Uh, all of my other tanks, 55s, 40s, uh, 20 talls, 20 longs, I gotta cut too because they're only like 12 inches tall. Otherwise, it's gonna be at the very top and um, you're not gonna get the flow out that you need. Or it's gonna be right pretty much at the top of the water. So I cut it down. So if your water level drops, you don't gotta worry about it. Uh, not getting out where it needs to be. So, take this piece off. So you got the air stone on the piece of air tubing. This is it. Sponge. And he's running in the fish room right now for around eight months. They're still holding up well. I'd be interested to see how long these things last before they start deteriorating and falling apart. But as of right now, they're still holding up great. I bought some spears. Change out when needed. This is it. It's a little weighted piece that goes to the bottom. And then the cage. Simply snaps on there. And the top snaps onto that. And the sponge is in the middle there. All the slots let the water come through the sponge. Everything out the lift tube out the top. So that's the uh, sponge filter dissected. A lot of people do DIY filters, it's fine. I don't know what they're spending on them, but these guys right here, I'm getting for uh, six bucks a piece when you buy 12 or more, so. And you don't have to mess around with making them. A lot of DIY stuff out there, unless you're gonna save a lot of money, sometimes you're better off just buying what's already available for you out there. That's my thoughts. I have done some uh, DIY lids and stuff, but I'm saving big big money over what you're going to pay for a glass lid out there. So, 12 or more, these guys are six bucks for a number four. Uh, I think they're 675 if you buy them uh, individually. Still, that's dirt cheap. I mean, that's uh, one filter for a tank. I got one of these guys uh, the tank behind me that are 45 long. I got one filter and I got a, it's very well stocked with SRT uh, hongies and uh, we got some red shoulder peacocks in there. Very heavily stocked and uh, we do water changes once a week. That water is crystal clear and we're using one filter. So excellent filtration. Very cheap to buy. Like I said, it's easy to maintain and very efficient to run. I told you, here's the, uh, we bought a spare, still got the little thing in there, you just push it out, to cut out. That was just a spare filter. Didn't come uh, put together. Highly recommend this. These guys here, uh, I've used ATI, there's many different brands out there. 
This is what Ken's have. We do most of our shopping through Ken's. Uh, you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping. Not doing an advertisement for these guys, but I've searched and uh, they've got great prices. And uh, the free shipping is, is awesome when you uh, get a nice big order together. So, ATI sponge filters. They got six different models of this. Uh, there's a mini, uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, which this is, and a number five. The uh, number one says it's good for 10 gallons, number two for 20, say the number three is good for 40, number four for 80, and the big number five for 125 gallons. We got three of these seating right now in our tanks. We'll take a walk around and uh, show you a couple different filters. We had to take, uh, we've had a couple of these guys plug up on us, turn the air all the way up, wasn't getting nothing out, so we just took them off. I never put a new one in. But I can show you the difference in the bubbles with the air stone and without. Like I say, I like the air stones because uh, you get a little bit finer bubble. Let me grab the camera here and we'll take a quick walk around and uh, show you a few few different things. So like I said, we, uh, we've got sponges seeding. What that is is a sponge in a cycle tank to suck it up all that good bacteria getting ready to put in a new tank. Um, it's instant cycle once you put it in a new tank. We do got two hang on the back filters on these 275s here. But these two sponges here are seeding. Uh, looks like one was put in uh, December 26th and the other one the 18th of January. We keep track of them right here on our board. New sponges added. Just so we know how long you've been in there and seeding. I've, I've used one as uh, as low as like 15 days and we had no ammonia spikes or nothing in a new tank. So that's two right there. Uh, we got a third one in this tank right here. Okay, you see the fine bubbles that are coming out. That's because of the air stone. I say it gives a, a finer bubble, makes it a little bit quieter, and that air stone's all the way at the bottom of the uh, filter, drawing up that water throughout the whole sponge. I say for maintenance on these guys, once a month I'll sque squeeze them out in a bucket of uh, tank water to clean them. Haven't had any problems. All right, here we go. This is actually a number three right here. Remember I told you we got some number threes? This is actually a number three and a 20. See the difference in the bubbles? It is a lot noisier. Not a lot noisier, but they got larger bubbles. Uh, we got these noisy breeder boxes here. That's where most of the noise is coming from. But I like the lot finer bubbles that uh, the air stones put out. Oh, I want to show you one more thing while we got you on here. This is the 45 long. Look at how stocked this tank is. These are African cichlids. Three inches. Got uh, the peacock over is about four inches. We got some smaller guys in there, but I don't even can't tell you how many fish are in here. Probably about 60, 60 fish in this 45 long. That one sponge filter is all we're using for filtering that tank. Look how clean the water is. Of course, we do uh, the weekly water changes. We vacuum the gravel every week. And uh, the sponge maintenance, once a month, uh, squeeze them out in the bucket. So that's it. Till next video, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe.